I think there was that sometimes. So what's your testimony? What's your story? Now, I'm going to look at it two different ways. Um, we need to talk about it as individuals. What's my story personally? But what's our story as a community called the experience? Or do we even have a testimony? Hey, is that even possible to have a testimony in the church? Maybe so. And I kind of touched on this two weeks ago as well. You know, what is our story? What is our purpose? Is what we were talking about that day. But what is our story? What is our testimony in the church? Because we've been busy for 10 years doing a bunch of things that I think are really good. And a lot of it can give really well, too. And I put together a list this last week of a few of the things. And I didn't get everything, so I might have missed a couple things. But we've done a lot of what I'll call special events. Um, and those of you that have been around a while, you remember these, because we haven't done them for the last year or two. But um, there was a string of years when we got together on Labor Day and Memorial Day mm-hmm. in the park and fed a lot of people a lot of hot dogs. Yeah. And a lot of gospel. Yeah. And a lot and, of music. And I think people were blessed by that. And praise teams <laughs> would to play, or we have, I remember Brad Peters uh, brought a little combo band and played a little music for us a couple of times. Yeah. And it's all good. You know, we had people working and doing things, and, and um, it went well. Even in the bar, you can't go here once in a while. You know? Yeah. We would uh, design and create a little postcard of some kind and send it out to a zip code in Meridian. That's where our target was. And we had people come to church to check out where who were the crazy people that sent these postcards out. We did a lot of radio ads at certain times throughout the life of the experience on QPSY. And that brought a lot of people in to check out what's going on here. What is this place that they're talking about? And just our programs in general. I mean, how many churches have you been to that have had round tables in the sanctuary? Yeah, this makes us be okay, There's not too many. I, I know we're not the only one. But there's not too many. So we're a little bit unique. And the music that we play is a certain style that not every church has. A lot of churches do, but not every church. So that's a little bit unique. And we have programs like Pathfinder. And we do potluck. We have kids' church. And I think those are all really good things. I don't want you to get me wrong at all about what I'm saying this morning. I think they're great things. And I think we've done a lot of these things really well. I mean, when you can keep people from being in line for very long, and you're serving a bunch of hot dogs or a bunch of pancakes in the morning for breakfast or something like that, and then you're visiting with people throughout the day and talking to them and stuff like that, I think that's great. I think that's great. The question I ask myself when I look at all these things is, can we measure who they affect you? And I did them well, but can we make sure we're really effective? And I see a couple people shaking their head, no. And I, and I think maybe what they're thinking, and I'm making an assumption, so you know what that makes me, I'm making an assumption that maybe we'll never know what effect those things had on this earth. Maybe that's going to be an unknown answer that we'll get. And that's, I, I agree with that completely. I know that. And you got to be okay with that. But I do, I do ask myself, what were the, what were the fruits? What was the fruit of those activities that we did? And I sometimes, personally, have a hard time seeing what that fruit may be. And I agree, Tori, you were one of those guys shaking your head. I agree that um, might not ever know until as Jesus has. Did we really have a win situation where we fed a thousand hot dogs that day in 2006 or whatever? I mean, you know, I don't know. And he's going to go, eh? 
Let me tell you. And I might hear a huge story that I have no idea about. And that would warm my heart. It really would. But I think as we move forward, we need to at least consider what we're doing and are we just being really busy? Or is there an eternal purpose for what we're doing? 